Hey, what's good, everyone? Look, Rice Man here. It's been an interesting week here at the rink. Been chasing down that gas leak for the last few days. Had a hard time locating it. Finally located it here on this valve. But the funny story behind it is that it's not where we thought it was. Earlier in the week on Monday, it came in smelling like gas. So, kind of like, well, what's going on here? I started poking around and I was more up in front of the building, smelling like gas than the back of the building. So, up on top looking around the normal spot this is one area where we had a gas leak last time where it kind of smelled a little bit and so I kind of went over there and looked at it and I realized that this is an area where some furnaces were just removed and they removed them to the valve had the valve closed but didn't cap it so it was kind of like uh, I still called the gas company out they came out started looking for leaks and I capped it and thought that was it but he came out and did a little, he said, yeah, it smells like gas. Kind of put his meter around here or there, checked a bunch of pipes, and it's like, well, we found a little leak somewhere, but that probably wasn't causing the smell. But thought maybe what I just capped off may have been the smell. So we kind of like, you probably got to get that little smell fixed. And so next day I call a repair guy out because it was a big uh, area where it's kind of a cluster of pipes and junctions and unions and all this kind of stuff stuff has been taken in taken out so come out tighten it up kind of like still smells that gas the next day it's like what's going on so how the gas company come out again like nosing around everywhere kind of looking for gas leaks and went all over the building at this point trying to figure out it, where it's coming from maybe it's a bad piece of machinery because they like oh a lot of CO2 in the building well it's probably the Zamboni and stuff I mean so it's, it's, it's not high levels or anything but you know like something's not right here and you know they're just not really used to an ice rink atmosphere I guess so testing everything everywhere looking for the gas leak up and down the place and they kind of like they, they couldn't really find it and right you know like we were checking the dimifier we checked the furnaces or checked the hot water heaters kind of checked everywhere and everything was working and kind of like you know, well, it's got to be the dimifier. It's like, you know, like something's got to be coming from it. And it must be, you know, that the thing's burning clean, though. So what's, and they're kind of like, well, it, it, it may, it's not, maybe not show gas. Maybe it's just a, a machine that's not running properly. And so that's why we checked all the furnaces and the hot water heater. But it's like, okay, let me call the dimifier company and, you know, and ask some questions. And so, they, you know, some sector seals can inspect to make sure the sectors the reactive side and the process side is not interfering or not interfering but getting into each other so expect those things the next morning it's like still smells like gas and everything like the seals look fine what's going on have them come back out again call the gas company it's like we gotta find this thing no you know it's not a the smell you could smell it but it wasn't really enough to really worry about it but anytime the customers smell gas it's cause for concern so we want to find out where it's coming from so Again, we kind of like, well, let's go over here to Dumafire because we're pretty sure it's Dumafire. Let's go ahead and check this thing out over here. And so we went back over there and we, we looked on the outside of it the, the initial day. But it's like, okay, like, let's go open this thing up because there's some gas valves in here where it tees and splits and maybe it's getting into here and stuff. And, and lo and behold, you know, he puts his little meter here and there and he could tell right away that like, he could smell gas in the little compartment. And I'll show you a picture here in a minute. And lo and behold, there's a little crack. I don't know if you could see it right between the B and the R, but there's a little crack in the pipe right there, and that's what's causing the leak in the building. And it wasn't getting on the process side where, because it would get in through the burner and, and burn off. It, for some reason, somehow I should say, it was getting into the process side and into the building. And that's what we're smelling, this national gas leak. So glad that we found it after a couple of days of looking for it. It wasn't where we thought it was. And just, uh, glad we kept that kept on it and kept looking and thanks cascade natural gas for coming out a couple days in a row trying to help me find it finally found it called someone out because it looks like a pretty straightforward fix but there is an art to doing uh piping and stuff and i didn't really want to attempt it there's a lot of pushing and pulling trying to get this thing out and i wanted an expert to do it i probably could have done it but i wanted someone to do it so got her done it's following day here. I don't smell any gas in the building. No one smells any gas anymore. So I think we're good to go. So I thought I'd share that story with you, man. Like, it's not good when you smell natural gas in the building. It was kind of concerning there for a while. Even though we knew it wasn't in high amounts, it was just kind of like enough to smell it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. Like the localized man says, stay cool.